Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Times Crew Made. And I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing here because we're actually taking on the Knights who are in 16 spots on the ladder. Which is just hilarious because in our last Via Pro video we uploaded, we were taking on the Knights who are in 16 spots. So, a uh, bit, <laughs> bit of a coincidence right here. Uh, I didn't actually see what round it is. We're pretty late into the season. I think it was... I actually have no idea. It must be nearly round in the 20s. I didn't even see what it was, but we uh, we mopped the floor with the Knights in the beer pro, so I'm expecting the same out of out of us right here for our Titans team. And we are starting the game off pretty strongly, uh, fairly similar to our beer pro as well, where we scored in our first set in that. This is a bit into the game, seven minutes in, but just too simple. Attacking into our dangerous right side, right side plays right there. David Mead, try scoring machine. Picks up another one for the season. I have no idea how many he's got for the season, but it is it is a staggering amount. It must be some sort of record. I'm pretty sure he's the he's the most for our team, but the Knights here are actually looking a little dangerous. They got a beautiful offload there, and then uh, they had the two on one, but David Mead did very well to stay out there. Then they put in the grubber. They get the rebound, and Dane Gagai comes up with a huge hit right there to to stop the play. It was looking a bit dangerous, but 23 minutes gone, you know, the, the Knights were defending pretty decently, but then straight after that uh, close call from us, we attacked to our right side again. The numbers, David Mead, just too good, just swerves around the fullback and puts on another try. So it was, it was a bit, it was a bit tight. It was a bit tight this game to start with. The Knights were giving us a bit of a run for our money. They were, they're actually making a fair few breaks, but our goal line defense has been very strong. And as you see, 26 minutes gone. And further momentum as Aiden sees it with a beautiful kick. That is a 40-20, backing up that try with just more good play. And last tackle here, we get it out to Caesar, who puts in the crossfield kick. Looking for Dave Taylor underneath it. Gets the bat back. Zillman standing on the spot. Just nonchalant as you like. Plants the ball down. No pressure. The Knights just did not cover it. I mean, someone contested Taylor, but someone had to be covering the outside man, Zillman, on the wing there. But big Dave Taylor, you know, he's pretty athletic for a big man. Gets over the top of Uate there. And Zillman just picks up uh, one of the easiest tries he'll, he'll ever score in this career. 30 minutes gone. And we missed the kick. Just couldn't believe it. Caesar usually pinpoint with those kicks. Just, just skewed that to the right. And we just had our confidence up after that. Just a few offloads here. Gets it back to Mortimer, who's on the field. And just didn't have the legs. Didn't have the legs. I thought he was going to go all the way. But he was rounded up pretty quickly there. But it must have been the outside man. But we attack to the winger here. David Mead gets it back to Hoffman. We're on to Gagai. And that is going to be a pretty nice try. Just a quick bit of work. Attacking where we originally made the break. And just, just good stuff. Hoffman got the... Offload away to Gaga, who had too much, too much speed, too much space to work with. Puts it down in the corner, and all of a sudden, a pretty tight game, pretty tight game for 20 minutes, has blown out a bit. And somehow, Caesar has skewed that one as well. You know, sometimes the kicking just seems a bit strange because I definitely didn't time that too bad. But just before half time here, the Knights they throw it around, almost get straight through, but Hoffman has to come up with a big tackle. And then right here. We actually utilized the dragging uh, tackle. <laughs> I just, for some reason, the dragging tackle just never works. Every time I try to do it, it always drags them towards my try line. Um, it, it's very strange. It's very strange. It seems like you have to do the opposite, but right here, that was just so slick. It was so, it just happened so smoothly. Dave Taylor, I think it was, actually, it might have been Adam, Adam Docker. I'm not sure who it was, but. Uh, just a switch of play. Hoffman burst onto the ball. The forward player ran back to the ruck there, drew the players in, and it was just too easy, really. And then James Roberts just burst straight through the gap. He's had a pretty quiet game this, this game. He didn't really have much opportunity for the first half, but he gets the ball there and makes a good ground, but he was rounded up pretty quickly by the fullback, which is pretty disappointing. But once again, attacking the Gagai. And it's just going to be too easy. Just in and out. Straight around the fullback. I actually have no idea who the fullback was. I I was off in Fairyland when I was looking at the team lineup. I was, I was actually laughing about the, the fact we were versing the Knights. So I didn't actually look at their team. It might actually be 
For some reason, like, I don't know who it is, but I feel like it's Kurt Mann. For some reason, I feel like it's Kurt Mann. It sort of looks like him, so if it is Kurt Mann, I find that pretty funny because I have no idea. Um, but we put up a midfield bomb, and it's going to turn out pretty badly for us as Yuate catches it with not much pressure. And then Hoffman's had an exceptional game, but that is a pretty poor effort in defense by, by Hoffman. Usually outstanding, but... Not the best effort there, as Jeremy Smith is taking the kicks. A bit strange, but he does slot that one. But yeah, I haven't shown much of Hoffman this game, but every single kick return, he has made so much ground for us, making it very easy. And James Roberts here, just too much room to move. Just We had them, we had them spread from an earlier break, and just straight through the gap. Yuate probably had to, to come in and shut it down, but he stared on his wing, and the fullback was... The fullback was back on his heels as well, so not great stuff by the Knights. I mean, this is a bit of a bit of a slaughter right here, as Caesar doesn't make a mistake with that one. He's missed a couple of this game, but slots that one. But the Knights, they're going to get a bit of respectability back right here. James McManus actually powers over the top of one of our players there. I think it might be Hoffman, actually, who comes in for the tackle. So 38, 38 to 12, as now Trent Merritt is kicking. Jeremy Smith, obviously, off the field, and... I don't know why one of the halves isn't kicking. Trent Merritt, I mean, I don't think he's a kicker, but whatever. As Gagai, just once again, Gagai has been just amazing this game. I actually don't think he picks up man of the match, but he probably should have with this performance. His third try of the game, uh, just just too good. It was actually off the kick. Um, we just attacked straight off the kick. Hoffman, once again, making good ground, drawing in a couple of defenders, getting the pass away, and it was just, just through the hands. Step the fullback as easy as I like. And then right here, last play of the game. Big Hullis straight through the gap, but unfortunately gets knocked down by the Knights player. Or else we we're probably going to be through for another try, but that is going to be the end of the game. And Dan Kagai actually does pick up another match. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But that was a very good performance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.